Her question is what are some ways to grow in your career as a self-taught PM in a world of MBA grads? I want to answer that for one line before you can answer. Uh, don't be around them. I sort of feel that you have a big advantage of being self-taught in anything because you can really approach it from first principles and learn what you need to be adaptable to this environment, right? You know, you have to understand that MBA programs are in a lot of ways compared to tech companies, you know, they're just they're lagging in terms of what they learn or what they believe is important and and so if you're in an actual very innovative cutting edge dynamic tech company a lot of these skills you're not honestly going to learn in your MBA and in fact you might learn things that the technology point might hinder you in your actual job right i think the most important thing is you should ask yourself first who are the top pms out there in the world on the internet you know and then just obsessively read their stuff right listen to their podcasts learn from them like there's like so many people who have incredible advice who have done the job who are really really great and if you want to learn anything i think one of the first things you know my sort of hack is like i don't know anything about let's say i don't know data or, or tennis right the first thing i'll do is be like who do i know who might be the best at it so i'll i'll, I'll ask someone who is a data scientist then i'll ask that person who do you believe is the best at data in your field right and maybe if you know them please introduce me i'd like to talk to them but if not even if you're just pointing me to people on twitter now i'm going to follow those people on twitter and then i'm going to be like who do those people follow right who do they admire in their field and then i'm going to go and follow those people or ask for introductions if you know if i if i'm able to do that right but the first step to getting good at anything is you have to know what great looks like and you have to identify and learn from the best and and then um and if you can go and ask them for coffee you know go in and but even if not if they're uh, an ocean away at least you can you know try and inhabit their thoughts right and and today it's so easy to do this you know this is such a valuable advice for at least for indian talent is that we are stuck in trying to compare with the batch that you passed out in your college with and we are still comparing with them how am i earning against this person how am i doing against them in terms of my career or my designations not knowing what is the absolute best and what are they doing right now what did they do to get to the best i've never like everybody are fascinated with your journey at the end nobody wants to know your process right uh like this whole thing about asking people and asking for the best you know uh julie you know i spend a lot of time in bay that just just being a nomad meeting from meeting just asking dumb questions all the time and there are many people over there who's like we've never seen indian talent or indian founder show up in bayra and asking these questions and i'm like i don't know what do you mean by saying that like why aren't more people doing this i'm sure they can afford a trip and many people are very happy to meet you or you can just socially just connect over there and people are very happy to help and 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 when we are in this local maxima we build envy and not inspiration global maxima is the only way to build inspiration a local maxima just creates envy and i think we have to get out of that loop